Good afternoon, Keeps at the Cash Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here, and today, this is Saturday, February 3rd, and I got something exciting to announce. Now, usually on a Saturday, I am busy reading and shooting a Savage Saturday comic review for uh, you, for those of you that are fans who watch it, but I got something Savage I'm announcing today, and uh, we'll get back to Savage Saturday comic review next week, but today I'm excited to announce a book that I wrote, a short story, 38 pages, called Need. And this is an erotic horror short story. The main character's name is Alexis. I'm very happy to finally get this out there. I, I had it read and criticized by many people. So I could keep changing it, adjusting it, and making it the best possible product to put out for the public to consume. Um, now, if this is the type of fiction that gets you interested, I hope you check it out. I hope you leave a review. Uh, if you read this, if you buy this and read it, and you like it, please leave a review and share it with as many people as you can. Now, if you buy it and read it and you don't like it, please uh, don't suffer alone and share it with as many people as you can. Um, but um, I'm very proud of the end product. I think it came out really well. I hope it did because my goal is to give you something that's worth the money you're spending on it and for you to have a good time while you're reading it and be invested in this character, which I developed. Now, I had a lot of help along the way. Uh, uh, Mikhail uh, Galloway, who wrote the foreword. Uh, Danny Fisher, who did the great cover for it. Thank you very much, Danny. Thank you very much, Mikhail. Um, other supporters in the community that have done a lot for me. Uh, out of the panel comics, uh, Dan Can. Uh, CJ for Comic Journey on YouTube. Uh, DJ Links, Mark from Legion of Comics. Uh, Travis, just so many people pulled together and supported me on this. It's extremely humbling and uh, made me a little emotional. I'm not too proud to say. I got a little teary-eyed with all the support I was getting, and I really, really thank those guys for this. But let's get to the synopsis. I'm going to leave the link to where you can buy this in the U.S. in the description below. It is slowly releasing over all other Amazon platforms. When it goes live in those, I am not sure. Uh, but it can be bookmarked in places like Germany and Australia and the UK and stuff like that for when it goes live. I don't know what the specific specifications are that they need to uh, finish their clearing. But in the US, it's all good. It's live. It's published. It's ready to go. Uh, but being as I'm a new author, the safest way to find it is to follow the link I have in the description. And if you bought it or you are going to buy it, and if you've read it and you like it and you read it and you don't, just leave me a comment. Let me know. Hey, this was great. I loved it. Hey, this wasn't for me, but, you know, maybe next time. Uh, but without further ado, let's read the synopsis. So you at least have an idea of what I'm asking you to buy into. And it says, and I wrote this, so. In Harper's Hollow, a new evil is about to be unleashed. When Alexis is exposed and bonded with an alien parasite, a new world of options is open to her. A world where she isn't the abused. A world where she isn't powerless. A world where she is in control. A world where others tremble before her and her power is absolute. Alexis never knew the extent to what she had suffered at the hands of those in the world around her. But now, after surviving a tragic accident and being bonded with an alien parasite, with eons of knowledge and suppression to draw on, and combined with Alexis's own tragic past, a whole new world awaits. In the dawn of rebirth, in the dawn of her rebirth, change is about to be terrible and finite. A whole new, um, this is the start of a new age, and Alexis will be at the forefront of a new existence. Together, her and the parasite create a new life form for all to tremble and serve before. Now, make no mistake, this is a villain story. You are seeing someone that's been abused uh, and being treated poorly, and you're seeing them rise to villainy, ultimate villainy, and hopefully you're rooting for them because you feel for them and you're empathizing with them. And that's the point of any good villain is that you can see where they're coming from. And I hope that's the case here with Alexis. But ultimately, that's for you guys to decide if you read it. So please let me know what you think in the comments below if you do read it, if you have read it. And if you do read it, please leave me a review on Amazon. I would absolutely love it. And um, I'm probably going to create a promotion here in the future with some signed copies uh, for people that have left reviews. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but for now, thank you so much for listening. 
Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, uh, Dan. Thank you, Mikhail. Thank you, Danny, for all the support and everything that you guys have helped me do with this book. Everyone is appreciated, and um, it doesn't happen without a community surrounding you. So thank you guys very much. Until next time, keep it casual.